Hello my friends, welcome back to another TFT video. I am Juicy Juicy and we are going to be making a tier list today of all the items in TFT for Inkborn Fables patch 14.7b. Damn, that's a mouthful. Now, let's just get started right away by saying that this tier list is my own opinion, so if you don't like it, that sucks for you, I guess. I'm just gonna jump right into it right away by starting with the Deathblade. Now, Deathblade, I don't think is used very much. Sometimes I'll slam it if I just have a bunch of swords, but I don't think it's like a definitive tier item. I don't even see it built that often, honestly. I think it just belongs in the B tier. You don't really build it unless you have to. There's a lot more damage items that you'd rather build. I'm looking at an S tier item right now, actually. Do you guys know what it is? It's the Bloodthirster. It belongs in S tier. It is probably the best melee item of all time. Super good. You build it on all your carries right now. Maybe it'll change with the patch tomorrow. But right now, Bloodthirster is mandatory on any melee unit that you have, like Bully Bear or Yone. Uh, so I might as well put another S tier item up there right now, which I'm sure everybody knows. And you know what? This can even go above the Bloodthirster because it's better. Titan's Resolve is super busted. Everybody knows this. It's getting a huge nerf in the next patch because it is so broken. It definitely belongs in S tier. It's so good that you build two of them on the same character. So that pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, now that we've gotten some S tier items out of the way, let's look for a really bad item. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have the guard breaker now guard breaker is all right i don't even know if this is really terrible i think it you just don't really want to build it on most characters it only really works in very niche situations where your enemy has a lot of shields and it only works on characters who have a wide aoe attack so they can actually hit everybody and make use of it so i think i'm going to put it in c tier even though you know what, this might change later, but I'm going to put both of these in C tier, and I would even say that Guardbreaker is better than, than Deathblade right now. Uh, Hextech Gunblade, another S tier item. Uh, you put this on all your mage carries, they deal a bunch of damage, and they heal a whole lot, and they make your front line sometimes invincible. It's super busted, so it is getting an S tier for sure. Uh... Wow, look, there's so many good items. This Protector's Vow. Protector's Vow is not a... I mean, it is kind of a D tier item. It only works on very specific champions. Like, I'd build this on a Diana or, like, an Orn to get them to cast faster. But if you're just talking about a general tank item, you don't really want to be building this most of the time. So it, it gets a pretty low score. Uh, Steric Gauge. Steric's Gauge is pretty bad. Um, it's not very good. You don't really want to build a lot of it. When you have items like Bloodthirster and Titan's Resolve, Steric's Gauge just kind of falls off really hard. I, I, almost, I think that's where it belongs right there, probably at the bottom of C tier. Subject to change in a little bit if I feel like it. Uh, another S tier item, Spear Shojin. Spear Shojin is pretty mandatory for all of your casters. Uh, except for the ones that use blue buff, which I'm just going to go up and put up there. These are like, this is why the items are in trouble right now is because it's either S tier or trash. Perfect item, trash, right? So blue buff goes up there because it's really good on all of your mage carries that have low mana. So you either want to build one or the other, but either one ends up being S tier for whatever caster that you're building. Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer, I would say, is A tier. I almost put it in S tier because so many champs right now have a bunch of health. Um, actually, it does belong in S tier because so many champions have a bunch of health. You usually do want to build a Giant Slayer to be able to take care of whatever frontline your enemy has. It's a lot of stall comps, so Giant Slayer really comes in handy. And it's so good, in fact, that it's getting a pretty large nerf as well in the next patch. So there you go. Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is all right. It's another one of those very um, circumstantial items. I'd even put it up here because it's actually better 
like a lot better than these. Um, I'd even put Guard Breaker up there. These do belong in C tier. They're pretty bad, so they're going to stay down there. But Infinity Edge is pretty good. You put it on your Senna, it does work. You put it on Aurelia, it does work. I like it. It's a good item. Uh, Thornmail. Thornmail is going to go into the B tier. Higher B tier than Guard Breaker, but it's pretty good. Uh, I think it reflects damage. Ah, the reflect is really nice, especially for AD comps. It, it, sometimes it stops like a Yone. But Yone dashes to your back line, so it doesn't really matter. I'd put it right... I'm going to put it A tier. I'm going to put it A tier for now. Uh, see, like, stead, <laughs> Steadfast Heart. Now, that's a B tier item right there. That's a B tier tanking item. It's too specific, the champions that you want to put it on. So, it's not always going to come in handy. Belongs in B tier. Sunfire Cape. Sunfire Cape I would give A tier because it at least has the extra burn effect and does a little damage for you. So I'd say it's a pretty good tank item. I think I'd venture to put it above Bramble Vest even because it's pretty good. Uh, Morello's is another C tier item. It got nerfed pretty hard. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it in B tier actually because it's just like Guard Breaker. It's pretty much just like Guard Breaker. Very circumstantial. Uh, you don't really want to build it because there's so many better items out there that you want to be building over Morello's. But it, it's not bad. It's better than it's better than this. Yep. Top B tier. Top of B tier. Edge of Night. Also B tier. <laughs> also B tier, dude. And the reason why is because... Who do you use this on besides Kane? Who else do you put this on? I don't know. You could put it on Yone, but that sucks. He needs the Titans Resolve damage. Maybe this next patch, this will actually be good on Yone. But for now, for now, I would just put it in, in B tier. Gargoyles. You know what? Gargoyles after the nerf is a little bit weaker. But as far as it comes to tank items, I'd probably want to build Gargoyle Stone, Stone Floyd over anything else. Uh, even over these two right here. It's because you can frontline a unit, slam three of these, and have infinite armor. Very good. Warmogs. Warmogs, I think, belongs in the A tier because it gives you a bunch of health, makes your unit very, very tanky, and no matter what kind of damage you're taking, this will at least extend the life of that unit. If you have a Nautilus, you're able to cast. If you have an Ornn, you're able to cast. It's pretty decent. Crown Guard, I would also say, is A tier because the units that it goes on, like Diana or Annie, they really benefit from the AP. The AP that they get is really good. They end up popping off and doing damage. I think I would even put it like... Yeah, I think I'd put it right here. Even above these other two. Ooh, Ionic Spark. Ionic Spark, I think, is a B tier item. It's alright. Eh. <laughs> it's alright. I don't really see a lot of success with it. Usually I prefer building a Static Shiv as well. So, you know what? Now that we're talking about Static Shiv, I'm going to put it in A tier because I like that it does damage. I The units that you put it on really benefit from all of the stats that it gives you and the Shred is amazing. So, I would put it in A tier for sure. Rabidon's Death Cap. Also A tier. The, bo the damage boost you get from this is really good. You, ooh, ooh, no, 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 it's, it's not us tier. I don't know if I'd slam this every single time, although I do sta uh, slam it often, and I do think that it is better than Static Shiv just because of the damage it provides. Sometimes your AP carries can't even get through the front line if they don't have enough uh, damage going on for them, which brings me to the Jeweled Gauntlet, which is gonna be... Ooh. This is good in combination with these other things, right? Like, this isn't really that great by itself. So I think I'm going to put it high B tier. Usually do want to make at least one of these on your mage carries, like, you know, Spear, Rabadons, Jeweled Gauntlet. But I think the AP has just become a lot... Oh, it's just so circumstantial. I'll put it on the bottom of A tier for now. 
I love Archangels. I love Archangels even more than Rabadons. And you know what? I'm just going to do this to even it out more. I love Archangels so much. It, it just lets you stack. It's like a Rage Blade, right? So, I'm. you know what? And Rage Blade? Rage Blade is S tier. It always is S tier, man. Look, like, always. You just... Like, I'm not really sure who you put it on. You put it on any range carry. You really put it on any range carry that you have. It's almost mandatory so they can keep scaling throughout the fight. Nasher's Tooth is A tier. And you know what? Static static Ship gets B tier. And I'll switch it out for Jeweled Gauntlet because I feel like you want a Jeweled Gauntlet over Static Ship most of the time. Nasher's Tooth is pretty good. And I think this is looking all right. Nasher's Tooth is just really good. It, the, the attack speed boost that it gives you is fantastic, especially with a lot of the units that it goes on. So it gets an A tier. Even Shroud is just really underwhelming. I usually don't want to build this most of the time. I've almost even be... Yeah, like I'd move that. Yep, I'd like never want to build this. If I see this on my bench, I dread it because I don't want to... Put it on anybody i'd rather grief myself into a war mogs or a or a dragon's claw which is like a, an a tier tank item it's pretty good there's a lot of good ap comps so if you can build this it, it keeps you pretty safe i'd say it's probably better than a thorn mail right now yeah i'd say it's probably better than a thorn mail comes more in handy not as good as crown guard in my opinion for the units that it goes on but I, I'd build it if I had to. Adaptive Helm. Man, I really only build this as well if I absolutely have to. I'd put it right here because it's like the Protector's Vow. It works and synergizes really well with some units and not perfect with all of them. Uh, which brings me to Redemption, which also gets a C tier, which is really sad. Because uh, all of these are just too niche right like if you put these on on attack tanks it's not the greatest like it's pretty bad these all want to go on magic tanks which i guess there is a lot of magic tanks i'm gonna put this down here actually edge of night since it's so circumstantial and that's why i'm putting these down here i'm gonna put an edge of night down there and i i'm gonna put set here i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that that looks better that looks a lot better uh, easy pick, Tactician's Crown, S tier. It just gives you another champion. I mean, it, yeah. Runin's Hurricane. I never build this. I think it's pretty bad. I really never build this. If you guys know what you build this on that makes it good, then you go ahead and tell me. Red Buff has been nerfed a million times. Attack speed is still pretty good. So it gets top of B tier for me. Top of B, B tier is not bad. Thieves Gloves. Oh, I don't know what I did with the Thieves Gloves. Oh, there they are. Uh, Thieves Gloves are pretty much an A tier item. They uh, give you extra items. It's like a good pick if you don't have anything else to slam. Thieves Gloves have always been pretty good. So they're going in A tier. Hand of Justice. Also A tier. You can build this on pretty much any unit and it's useful because of all the stats that it gives you. Is it better than a Rabidons and stuff? That's debatable. I think it belongs probably right there. Right there is a good spot. And Nasher's Tooth usually ends up doing more output. Last Whisper. That's probably a B tier. And only because Last Whisper... There's a lot of champions in the game right now that give you shred and a lot of ways to get shred and sunder on your target. Uh, so last whisper is kind of whatever. Definitely better than a runins and these. Like it's actually useful on like the death blade and the sterics gauge. So I'd put it up here, probably around the same as the static shift. And a quicksilver. <laughs> quicksilver is extremely like extremely circumstantial. So, I'd say I find more use for the Quicksilver than I do for the Runins or the Even Shroud. Even Shroud, I'm always just forced to slam on something. Quicksilver can go, like, right here because I find it more useful than these in a lot of situations. I'd rather just have one unit not be stunned at all. And looking over at this tier list one more time, 
Let's see, is there any changes I would make to this? Nope, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Okay. So that concludes our tier list for patch 14.7b for Inkborn Fables. If you enjoyed this and you're still here, make sure you consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. I make these all the time. I love making tier lists. And I will see you next time.